January monthly in my business budget. Stay tuned. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Planning Serenity, where we plan for serenity. My name is Jessica, and as mentioned, we are gonna try to figure out my business budget. So if you are new here, I appreciate you clicking on my video and stopping by. If you're returning, you already know how I feel about you. Um, if you are new here, well, if you're returning as well, the reason I'm laughing is because um, my usual pen tip, wow, I actually like this one a lot better, but my usual pen tip, I just dropped it on the tile floor and it like literally like, bent at a 90 degree angle i wish i had it by me to show y'all um but yeah i just dropped it on a tile floor so i just popped this one on right before we started recording so i have never used this one um i had purchased a couple new pen tips to try out um so the first one i was trying out just bent in half so let's see how i like this one while we're planning um anyway that was just a side note slash spiel Let's get started. So if you are new here, um, I did kind of sort of explain it in my um, budget planner setup in my catch-all of my Hello Gorgeous Volume 3. Um, but to try to make a long story short, I wasn't sure whether I was going to put my business budget stuff with my personal budget stuff because I own my own business. So technically, the money that I get paid through my business also funds my life. <laughs> um, I was let go from my job on October 5th of 2023 and I started my LLC on October 6th of 2023. Um, yeah, things have been going very well um, and I pay myself via owner's draw. So um, that's why like I had some confusion because it's like, my income technically like as you would budget your income my my income is from my business so technically they're combined but at the end of the day expenses are separate um income comes in basically daily in my business um and also comes in at random times like i never not never know but sometimes i don't know exact dates of my income um i do a side hustle where if i want to i could go out and make money like that um in addition to my business, I will all say that. So income just flows and we are just claiming continuance abundance over here. Therefore, I do need to have a separate business budget section. I guess that makes sense. So for now, we are going to decorate or I guess plan or I'm going to talk through my monthly, my January monthly in my business budget planner. Um, and then after we plan this, I will go through and show y'all the new, um, I'll still be using the simple budget for my personal catch-all budget, but I did get new templates for my business budget. So yeah, I'll show y'all those when we're done. Um, so y'all know what the planning style is. So for now, um, well, just like in my catch-all, I already have the dates down. Um, and then the income is going to be in the regular black font and then just as in my catch-all we're not having our bills shout out at us whatsoever like you're not going to be saying you're due you're due you're due <laughs> so if you're new here you would have to go back and watch my last budget video to understand what i'm saying but same as in that budget video all of the bills are in a lighter font i did use um avenir next for this one the last one i used helvetica new um but avenir next ultra light is what my bills are in um, and then the income that I've received thus far is in regular font. Um, you all are seeing this on Monday, I believe. Um, currently today is Saturday. Finally, y'all, I'm catching up on my recording um, from when Kristen released the Hello Gorgeous Volume 3. Um, so yes, you all will be seeing this on Sunday. So I did take a break. Um, let me just show y'all. Uh, these are by Love Janelle. Y'all know I use digital sticker books, but since these are newer stickers, I haven't had a chance to put these on the digital sticker book template just yet. Um, but I did get inspiration from one of her stickers. How should I do this? Um, trying to figure out how to do this without having to scroll through all my stickers. Um, I got inspiration from one of her stickers. Um, this one. So I did purchase this set as well when I went on a, like a binge purchase on her, uh, her um, Etsy shop the other day, um, but this Rest and Recover, I'm going to take inspiration from that. Let's turn the pen back on. I'm going to take inspiration from that and use my favorite uh, little 
script font that I've been using. Y'all already know what this is, it's some candies. If you need me to spell it out, just ask down below in the comments. Um, but yes, what I'm about to use is a Sem Candies, which I just selected, so I don't know why I selected it type twice. Um, so I'm just going to type rest and recover. If you're new here, I have to type that first letter twice in order to get it lowercase. We have tried everything to not have to do that, but at the end of the day, I always have to. So rest. Um, and the reason I'm not using that sticker is because y'all know color-wise and planning style-wise, this would suit me best, um, but I like that little phrase. And not saying it's inspiration because it's her phrase, but I saw that sticker and I was like, oh, perfect. Um, so we're going to put rest and recover. I can, again, like I said, go out daily and make money with um, one of my side hustles. So um, that includes the weekends. I did not go out. I actually didn't go out Wednesday through Saturday. Um, I will be going out Sunday. Again, I'm recording this Saturday, so I will be going out tomorrow um, to do a couple things to make a couple dollars <laughs> the legal way. <laughs> um, so Wednesday to Saturday, I guess that's touching here. Let's move it over a tad bit. So it's definitely covering. I don't want it too large. Obviously I could, could make the font larger here. Let's see, but I don't want it to be like the main, all right, the whole first part of the month, she rested and recovered. Um, and then another reason I kind of took a rest slash recover for these days is because um, my oldest daughter, as y'all know, is still out of school um, and she goes back on Tuesday the 9th. So um, I just wanted to, you know, dedicate the last couple of days of her what seems like a month long winter break. Um, I just wanted to dedicate the last couple of days to her. So rested and recovered, did not make money except the money that just, you know, automatically flowed in. <laughs> by the grace of God. All right, so we have that. Um, let's see, so I have the income received thus far. Sunday, I don't know what the income is gonna be yet, so nothing there. Um, let's add some stickers. So these stickers, y'all, I think they are by K Digital Design. However, don't get me to lying. Um, <laughs> I will, I, yeah, I do think they're by K Digital Design. The reason I don't know um, if you're new here is because um, I got these stickers when I first started planning and I barely use them. Um, so the reason I'm choosing this piggy bank one is we're just going to use it for income. Actually, I do need to zoom in a tad bit. So what I'm going to do is size it in one of these boxes, but here, let's actually, um, as you can see, it's crooked. Um, it's still a good notes issue, um, that went, oh, that, all right, this pen tip is about to get the boot already. That when you bring stickers in, oftentimes they do go in crooked, but you just have to straighten it out like that. Um, so for sizing, I don't want it to fill the whole box. I do want it short, kind of like that. Um, sorry, y'all. Y'all know I get quiet when we're working on sizing. All right, I think I want it like that. So what I'm gonna do is copy that, but I'm gonna, oops, see, nah, this pen is really about to get the boot. But it's usually most metal tips, y'all. Most metal tips, it's um to do a lot of lassoing and dragging, it's really difficult. All right, so we're gonna put that one there, and then we just covered the income. So um, I do need to send these to the back, but for now I'm gonna put them down, and I'm putting them towards the left. Um, and another reason I didn't want to make them full size of the box is because, as mentioned, by the grace of God, income flows in. Um, income flows in. And if I have, like, big boxes, like, it'll, yeah, I won't be able to look at it. Um, so let's turn, oh, text boxes is off. So let's lasso, oopsies, see, this pen, man. All right, let's lasso, arrange, and send to back. Um, it looks like the income went in there perfectly for all of them except this one. So I'm just gonna move it a tad bit. All right, cool. So we have our income right here. I have YouTube, which um, I don't know. Can you can I consider YouTube a side hustle? It definitely did not start out as that, but I'm literally getting a paycheck, and I cannot believe it. I know I mentioned it to y'all um, 
a few videos ago that my first YouTube paycheck is coming in and I literally, I still can't, like I'm still in shock about it. So yeah, don't even get me to talking about it cause I'm, I can't believe it. But my first YouTube paycheck is coming in and technically um, I think I'm gonna have it go to my LLC, which means I do need to go into my AdSense and make sure that my EIN and all that good stuff is blah, 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 blah. Um, so I need to figure that out before, like, I need to do that like this week, honestly. Um, okay, so we have that income. And then for bills, I don't think I'm gonna do anything for bills. Um, I know they're there, it is what it is, right? As of now, my business bills are not um, that plentiful. I have Google um, for, you know, Google Business or whatever, um, to have the email, the domain, all that good stuff. I have this, which is a subscription. I have this, which is another subscription for my business. And then I have iPostal, which is, you know, a business address. So your home address is not out there when you are a single member LLC. <laughs> Um, all right, so I have those handful of bills, but for my owner's draw, I know I mentioned this in my mate, my first uh, budget video for my catch-all. Um, for my owner's draw, let's grab this credit card one because technically it's like card to card, technically, or bank account to bank account, technically, but owner's draw... Um, if you're new to business or you don't know what an owner's draw is, um, it is a way of entrepreneurs to pay themselves. Um, you cannot use, like for instance, for Janiya's tuition, I cannot swipe my business. I have business debit cards. Um, I have several different business bank accounts. So I can't swipe one of my business cards to pay Janiya's tuition, although it is income that I am using to fund my life. Does that make sense? I'm trying to say it slow to try to make sense um, and also make sure I say it right. Um, but um, so basically what you have to do is an owner's draw where you just pay yourself from your business bank account to your personal account. I hope that makes sense. Um, and I was mentioning in that video that I don't want to keep doing owner's draws just when bills are due. Like I wanna do owner's draws. Um, all right, so I know we have a bunch of bills due this week and the owner's draw usually takes at least 24 hours. So I do wanna do an owner's draw here. But what I was saying is I don't wanna um, keep doing owner's draws. Let me copy this one because it's the perfect size. Every time bills are due. Um, Cause I was doing them every couple of days, which I just don't like, that's a bit much. Um, and I wanna start keeping track of them as opposed to like just saying, oh, like doing an owner's draw, it's in my account, I'll look at it when I look at it. Like, no, like I wanna see who, what, when, where, why, what I'm doing, you know? So I think I'll do an owner's draw there. And then from there, maybe I'll do them weekly. Um, every Friday, no, Friday wouldn't make sense because of the one business day. So I would have to do it here. Um, so let's turn text boxes on and move this bill up. So yeah, so that I would have the money by Friday to pay the bills that I need to pay for the following week. Okay, that would make a lot more sense. Ooh, y'all might get like double, double, Um, wait, why am I putting that there? Y'all might be getting like double bud budget videos because there's going to be, ooh, pray for me, y'all. Um, I'm telling y'all to pray for me and I don't even know how to pray for myself. <laughs> If you're new here, you'd have to go back and watch my faith setup video to know what I'm talking about. And that was not funny. I should not have laughed. <laughs> but y'all know me. We are transparent over here. Okay. So we're going to do an owner's draw, I guess, every Thursday. Well, for now. And even that, like, yeah. The way my, like, because when I was cash budgeting, which I'm going to get back to. And, woo, will I show y'all why? My Lord. Like, y'all. Like, y'all, it is scary what happens when you get away from cash budgeting. Um, So, yeah, we will get into that. Shh, not in this video, but anyway. Um, But, yeah, cash budgeting, I cash stuffed weekly. So, I think it would make sense to do my owner's draw weekly with the way my bills are already, like, 
set up in my head. Does that make sense? I don't know. Probably not. Um, so those are owner's draws. I'm going to leave them blank because for now, I don't know what amounts I'm going to take because I need to add up the bills for that week and all that good stuff. Um, let's go back to the stickers. Um, I favorited other stickers and I don't know if these are K Digital Design or not. And I already put them on the template, but I do want to separate them because it's like, wow. But these are all budget stickers and I had like imported them and like shrunk them, not shrunk them down, but like combined. I don't know. <laughs> I'm rambling. Um, I'm going to grab review active subscriptions because there is a subscription that I need to be sure gets paid. Like it's it, all of my business bills. Wow. This sound, it's going to sound so amazing to say all of my business bills are on automatic withdrawal. Woo. I, wow, that feels so good. But there is a subscription that I need to come out every month. Like, and I feel like the service is kind of like iffy sometimes. And if that subscription doesn't come out, it kind of uh, could affect my business. Um, so review active subscriptions. I'm grabbing that one so I can check it off and be sure we're good to go on that. Um, and I just tapped on the screen, which I know left the fingerprint. If you're new here, this is a microfiber car cleaning cloth. They were 10 for a dollar from Ollie's. They probably they have lint all over them because I wash them all the time. Um, what else did I want to work on? Oh, my Roth IRA. So I can't even, yeah, I'm not even going to get into the whole subject of retirement because we will get into that when I do my, <laughs> when I start my debt journey, blah, 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 blah. Lord have mercy. Like, seriously, have mercy. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to size this. Oh, I could just do it like this to make them the same size. Um, but why are the squares different? Because that would be... Oh, that's why. Okay. Now let's make sure they're the same size. All right, so we need to work through um, starting my individual retirement. Okay. Okay um what else we need to add some more but y'all know we are still gonna go with the minimalistic vibes i saw a sticker where was it my income increases every month like how can i not put that on my business monthly but we are gonna do an old jessica thing well, not old because yo i swear i've been digital planning for like years but something I love to do in the very beginning of my digital planning journey, if you're returning, you already know what I'm about to do. Um, actually, let's freehand it because, ooh, this one, oh, I would, see, I spoke too soon. I was about to say this, I was going to say this pen tip is doing good with the lassoing, but um, not. All right, and then let's crop this one. We're going to have to freehand, so it's going to have to work. All right, come on, come on, come on. Come on, work for the people, work for the, boom. All right, we got that word and now crop, we need month. Um, so if you're new here, I used to do this a lot in the beginning of my digital planning. Um, and I could easily take a script font and a print font. Like this is, honestly looks like San Francisco. Um, I could take those fonts and, you know, make my own words, but Y'all know we got to throw something on the side. Um, but it's like so therapeutic chopping and screwing a thicker, like thicker. Wow. Chopping and screwing a sticker. I don't know what it is, but like, it's just so fun to me, like making another sticker or making something else out of a sticker, you know? And it's also just the joys of digital planning and the many things that you can do. I love that. But you know what we're going to do? We got a 90 degree angle it with... Is this the same size? I feel like that, mm. sorry, I'm trying to center it. Um, if you're new here, I don't like put my palm on my iPad or use my fingers because of fingerprints. Um, so the process tends to be a tad bit more difficult when I'm like holding my pen up in the air the entire time. All right, let's move that and like 90 degree angle it with that. Love it. All right, we need a header. Um, Back to Love Janelle, I was showing y'all that inspo. I think um, y'all know, well, if you're returning, you know this. If you're new here, and the reason I keep saying that is because I have so many new subscribers and I don't even know what to do with myself. Oh my gosh. Um, but if you are a... Uh, 
See, I just did all that dramatics and I have no idea what I was about to say. And now I'm trying to focus on this spacing to fit this square in here. Wow. Um, well, I guess I can say if you are new here, the main reason that happened is because I am a recovering alcoholic, three years sober. Oh my gosh. February 5th will be four years sober, y'all. Oh my gosh. 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 I'm like about to start shaking. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. Um, so in saying that, I have a lot of cases of recovery brain because I was drinking so long. Um, that's not the scientific word for it. That's just what I call it. Um, in layman's terms, it's like memory lapses. Like, mm, no, I don't know how to explain it in layman's terms, but you probably can kind of sort of understand what I'm trying to say. Um, but that's what just happened there. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. That was rude. And need I announce that I'm still getting over this gosh darn cold? I don't know if I like that black on black, but let's add some more and see. This says my journey is unique and I celebrate every step of the way. Oh my gosh. How crazy is that? And I was just talking about my recovery. Oh my gosh. God, I see what you're doing. Like y'all know God and me just started yesterday. Do y'all see this? Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. Okay, let's use one of these quotes as a header. Um, I guess this set is called Motivation. Again, I still didn't put it on my sticker book template. Um, let's grab this because I like the big bold font. Make each day your masterpiece. And that's perfect for like a monthly because you know, 31 days, get it? <laughs> All right, y'all know short and wide, which is why I'm doing that. Um, if you're new here, that's just how I like my stickers. All right. Okay, cute, but a little bit shorter. Um, Y'all know by the time this hits Instagram, something's gonna be added, changed, or sizing is gonna be different because I just can't help it. I need to, like, do I wanna do, oopsies. Do I wanna just, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do I wanna just double up? Whoa, come on now. I'm trying to do all this without zooming in and just double these up because I low-key really don't want it near that black. But does that look weird? Um, it doesn't look terrible because like, I don't want it like in the middle. I don't know. That spacing is definitely something I'm gonna have to play with. Let's see if we can throw one more sticker. I feel like I need a black, <laughs> speaking of success story, like this is perfect for my um, business planner. And y'all know we're gonna do short and wide a little bit shorter. Again, sorry, when I'm dealing with spacing and my editorialness, I get really quiet. Now, because we don't have our bottom black line, I'm getting used to it, y'all. I'm getting used to it, but I still really do miss it. But I think we'll do that. Maybe? Or do we? Because I don't, y'all know I don't really use hyperlinks, but honestly, maybe we'll just start using the dates as our new bottom black line. I don't know. What am I... What do I do, y'all? Or do I pull in the monthlies from Hello Gorgeous Volume 2 to get the bottom black line? But I'm kind of liking the bottom, not having the bottom black line because it's not so bold and it allows me to do more with my new, not new, with my former slash comeback uh, moody editorial planning style, which is, if you're new here, Complete Inspiration by Kristen. Um, I binge watched her videos multiple times and her lives multiple times when I first started digital planning. Um, and her style, I don't know, it just, I just, uh, everything about it. Um, so there's that, but we are, oh, I do want to show you the templates. So let's see. Um, so I don't know. Oh, I do have it. Yours Truly Printables is who these are by. Um, and this is actually a small business. She has two small business planners. Um, this is the cheaper of the two because I didn't need all the templates that were included in the larger one. And then in even with that, I still deleted some of the templates from the smaller um, printable set. Um, another thing I was going to say about the bottom black line is it does make it easier to bring in other templates because you can't tell for the most part that these templates aren't a part of the planner because 
they're not missing a bottom black line because Kristen's templates don't have them anymore. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. Anyway, so we have bookkeeping checklist. We have the yearly budget. Um, and it has things pre-filled in, which is literally all the things I need. Like it, this, 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 this printable set was made for me. Um, we have a budget summary for each, um, month of the year, income expenses, savings, debt, and net. We have upcoming expenses, which is, oh, I, I just love it. I just love it. Um, and y'all see the aesthetic and y'all see the space between each of the letters. Like this is so me, um, the business budget for the month. Um, projected income for each month. I mean, why did I say projected and then project income? So we have the client, the project, the hours, the build, hourly rate, package, package rate. I can use this. I will have to change a couple of the headers, but this will be a good one for me. I'll probably like split these boxes in half, maybe with a pen, do my own line, you know? That was just not a great example. But, or maybe a couple of lines. I don't know. Or honestly, can make yeah um anyway undo that so yeah i may edit that one because i know i just don't like the big boxes or i could use badani numbers and do something cool with that then we have the sales track um this one was profit and loss by the way sales tracker which um i can use that income tracker definitely need this business uh, yeah y'all already know why um business expenses definitely need that um, although thankfully my business expenses are not through the roof yet, but who knows how, um, things are going to expand when it comes to several of my businesses slash side hustles, um, recurring expenses, donations, yearly bills, debt tracker, mileage log, which is a very big one for me. I do use the stride app. Um, oh, I already put it there. That's funny. I do use the stride app, but Technology is technology and yeah, y'all know how that goes. So I do kind of want to figure out how to track my mileage. I don't know if it'll be daily or whatever. Um, vehicle maintenance, definitely need this. Um, tax deductions, oh, definitely needed this. Like this is perfect for my business. Tax deduction checklist, um, tax filing checklist, bank transactions, which oh, I can use this to track my owner's y'all um bank accounts credit cards insurances accountants um and then i did i pass the header there's this is probably messing with the lights so bad the, um the beginning of this section um i don't know where it is but it says the finances i think matter of fact let me try and all right, this is the simple budget, my catch-all planner. All right, here we have business. There we go, the finance. Um, so that's like the header of that. But I am still using, as you can see, Hello Gorgeous's monthly. Um, the printables I just showed you, they do come with a monthly. But I mean, of course, I have to use my Hello Gorgeous. So if you are new here and you made it to the end of this video, I genuinely appreciate you. Please drop a... I don't know, y'all. What should it be today? What should it be? I'm tired of the black and white. If you're new here, drop a pink heart in the comments. <laughs> Just so I know that you're new, you made it to the end and you like what you're seeing. If you do like what you're seeing, a like and subscribe would be absolutely awesome. If you're returning, drop a money bag or the cash or the credit cards or any of those in the comments. Just so I know that you're listening. Like this video as well and I will see all of y'all in tomorrow's video. Bye!